Hello everyone and welcome to episode 51 of my Guild Wars 2 Let's Play series. Last episode we were here in the Blood Tide Coast and we were doing a lot of map completion. But today in this episode I want to go ahead and switch gears and start doing chapter 5 of the Guild Wars 2 personal story. Where this is the first time that we are doing anything in chapter 5 and there are a total of 5 different versions of this chapter that we will be doing across our different characters. And in this episode, we are going to be helping the script because chapter 5 of the personal story has us helping the different uh, quote unquote lesser races of Tyria where we are going to go ahead and interact with the script in this episode. And we have our first story mission here, Ratastrophe. The script near the Furrow Dens have found some unusual artifacts. Meet with the script near the Furrow Dens, which is a cool location in Harathi Hinterlands, which we began exploring this place on our Savari Necromancer. And the closest waypoint we have to it right now is this Blood Hill waypoint. And we've explored about a little bit over half this map, I believe, on our Savari, and we're going to continue exploring in the future but basically everything or for the most part most of the stuff that we are going to be interacting with is stuff that we have already been to but there's also going to be a little bit of stuff going on in areas we haven't explored yet so we get to see those areas in the story mission and then we will return there in the future on our safari but here we are in other hathi hinterlands and this should look a little bit familiar we were only here a few episodes ago and we can go ahead and run straight north out of this area and i might grab a couple of waypoints on the way there just to unlock some map completion stuff a little bit of experience never hurt anybody plus unlocking some waypoints might be beneficial at some point in the future and then in the northwestern corner of the map where we logged out on our Servare, we have seraph's landing right here i believe this location is called and you can get this waypoint and then we can go across this bridge which we did do on our safari but we're going to go just a little bit further north than where we went where we came into these ancient ruins right here or not ancient older ruins and we got that hero challenge but we can go ahead and come up the hill right here and then we have the entrance to this story mission and a really interesting thing about the chapter 5 of the personal story is that there are some different locations around the world that we go to for chapter 5 of the personal story that exist in the world where for the script we have the furrow dens right here which is a location that is on the map here and you come here to explore it uh, like at the entrance right here to uncover it for the map art and for like the achievement and whatnot for exploring different areas but in the open world you actually cannot go into this area uh, if you were able to get over this wall if you had a mount it is an invisible wall i believe so there is no way to get in here and the only way to explore this very special area of the world is through this story mission so let's get started where we have this concept art of two cool script right here and then we have Warmaster Forgo Crimson that we can go ahead and chat with. I have no sympathy for this den of craven thieves. If I find my you, sword the missing, tall one. I'll beat it's them to death with a spoon. This way, I will show you what we found. It better not be another junk pile. I know you, script. You'll make a fuss over broken glass. No, 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 no. I'm much more interesting. You'll see. Follow. So let's go ahead and follow the script here. And Forgo doesn't seem so certain about what might be going on. And we can go ahead and come down here where there are a ton of script right here and then a bunch of different objects right here. You say you found a room full of these. So it looks like a bunch of destroyers just hatched from these eggs here. So it looks like the script went down into a cave. And basically uncovered these uh, shinies as they call them, as they call basically everything shinies. And they are hoping to trade these two other people, but it ends up that they are actually destroyer eggs. Which could have very concerning implications for the script that went back to get more and of course maybe 
the scred have more of these eggs in other locations. But we can go ahead and clear out all the destroyers right here and I just noticed and paused there for a second because I saw this pop up where we have our adventure guide to fight different elder dragon minions. Wish the destroyers are minions of the elder dragon Primordus, which is actually the first elder dragon that we kind of engage with in the lore of the Guild Wars franchise because he played a big part in Guild Wars 1. And it looks like we have a few more destroyers over here we can go ahead and clear out. And it looks like almost all the eggs are gone. There's just like six more eggs left or something like that. And it looks like they all hatch. So let's go ahead and try to group these up. I saw two disappear there or something. I'm not entirely sure. But they are gone. Let's go ahead and clean this up. And let's talk to Forgo on the script. We have seen these creatures before. Yes, in the deeps. We fled long ago. Now they come closer to the surface. Found us. They must have followed our scouts. Found our city. Now they come. All teeth and death. They will return until we die. Or they do. Destroyers. Nasty business. These creatures are minions of the dragon known as Primordus. Vigil records say a group of heroes drove back that dragon's forces long ago. Not that youth today care about history. Oh, I missed that fight, but I won't miss this one. Look at this artifact. Looks like an egg of some kind. A destroyer egg. Is that possible? Yes, yes. Shikik found that one in room full just like it. Many, many just like it. Shikik went back to bring more, but she has not returned. Batora thinks we can make bomb to kill the destroyers. <laughs> Wants to steal bomb powder from the centaurs for explosion. <sighs> Hard choice. Look into these eggs and find the lost script, or get powder for a bomb to fight the destroyers. Crusader, I'll leave this one up to you. So we are certainly stubborn. Dedicated, I mean. I may not like them, but I can admire them. So we have a decision that we can make here where basically we can either try to find the eggs and the lost script, or we can recover some gunpowder so we can blow up the destroyer nest. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the saving the script one. So let's go ahead and select uh, I'll find your friends you raid the centaurs or uh, I'll get the black powder you find the missing script. So let's go ahead and go with I'll find your friends because I think that's probably the smarter decision for us to go do that because we could save the friends there. And I think either way wherever the script go it's probably not going to end up super well for them. But we just leveled up to level 53, which is nice. We can get our level up reward here for a light crafting bag that has a third tier crafting materials in it. And then let's go to the Hidden Orban to begin the search. I wish the Hidden Orban, or however you pronounce that word, is actually in a brand new area of the Harathi hinterlands. So this does go a little bit further over here than I thought we did, but that is okay. And we can go ahead and explore this area of the world a little bit where we will return here, like I said earlier, on our Savari Necromancer and explore this place more in depth. But let's just get a little bit of a sneak peek of this area. And of course, we know that the Hathian Hinterlands has a very large centaur presence in it, where we have that story mission option there to go raid one of the centaur camps and acquire some of their gunpowder. But as we head into the eastern area of the Hathian Hinterlands here, of course, we are going to see more and more of a centaur presence and there are going to be some larger strongholds that we might have to kind of fight through a little bit in order to get to this area and it looks like there's actually a meta event going on over there that we could participate in if we wanted to but i think i'm just going to head over towards the story mission here where we have a giant centaur camp right here it really reminds me of like the giant centaur camp that we explored in kessex hills and then also the one in the gandaran fields there were quite a few centaur camps in Queensdale, but none of them were quite this big. And here's a story mission that we can go ahead and enter called The Hatchery. And we have some very cool concept art here. It's 
and we can load in with Warmaster Forgo Crimson. I think we just teleported across the road a little bit where we were, oh, we were right here and now we are down here a little bit. But this is an interesting location where we have all of these destroyers. And there are a ton of destroy eggs around here and I see the script over there. So let's go ahead and try to clear past these grubs and the destroyers. And I keep running into the eggs and they hatch as I run into them. So that is something we should be a little bit careful of. But of course the crappings here don't pose too much of a threat. So let's go ahead and clear out this troll and then the grub that it was fighting. And then there's an ooze over there that we can fight as well. And this is a very pretty cave. There's a waterfall over there. Let's go ahead and chat with this script. And he says, what about shinies? Came here for shinies. Specials need them to trade to live. No, to live, you need to not be here. So now we can rescue Tichik and the other scouts. So let's go ahead and clear out this ooze here. And then let's go ahead and come into the cavern larger. And we can go ahead and clear out all these different crabs. And I see that there is another script all the way over there that we can go ahead and try to rescue as well. Let's go ahead and grab this ooze up here. And then it looks like the destroyers and the grub over there are fighting. So maybe we can participate in this fight a little bit here. Let's throw down some of our AOE circles there. And then you can try to pull them all together. I kind of pulled them out of the circle, but it was almost done anyways. And of course, destroyers are immune to burning, and we as guardians do have quite a bit of fire damage that we can do just as a part of our like natural rotation with virtue of justice here that inflicts burning uh, when we use it, and it passively does it when we attack if it is not on cooldown. So let's go ahead and rescue the script that was just over here. So oh, looks like we rescued it. There is another script up here, or that's Tichik, so let's go ahead and come up here and... So it looks like Kitaka died here, so let's go ahead and clear out any of the uses attacking us. And then let's go ahead and try to run out of the western entrance up here and hopefully there won't be too many more destroyers in this area and we can get the script out of here before we lose another one there and it looks like a bunch of destroyer harpies just appeared so let's go ahead and try to use our binding blades here and then we can go ahead and aoe them down as best as we can and it looks like they are cleared up now so let's go ahead and chat with forgo Don't worry, we'll see that they're all killed, along with their queen. Destroyer queen. Dragon minions shouldn't be able to reproduce. How is this possible? Two possibilities. Could be a creature that was pregnant when she was corrupted, or this queen might be a kind of minion we've never seen before. I don't like either option. We have to take this creature out before she makes more eggs. We'll stand with you and fight! We know these things from the deeps. Know their cruelty. Come, meet me back at the village. Much to do. So we can now go ahead and return to the Scrid village. And it looks like there is some sort of destroyer queen, which of course we have all these eggs here. And that is very interesting because what we know about the destroyers and like the other elder dragon minions is that they can't really reproduce. Yet somehow we have a bunch of eggs here. And I just unlocked this new armor skin that we can go ahead and equip. I'll pull up our little hero panel page there and then we can see it is kind of bumpy on the front with a couple of spikes kind of interesting design on the front there i guess a little bit of an aggressive like brawlery type of armor skin but let's go ahead and exit out of this instance and then we can return to the furrow dens and as we load back into the furrow dens we have that new concept art there and it looks like i kind of just bugged out as i loaded in there but I can just jump through. It looks like we can run out of this area a little freely, but of course we have the boundary around us that we cannot go into or get teleported out of the instance. But let's go ahead and talk to Ftolchak, or how you pronounce that. This place was a death trap even before they built a giant bomb. Welcome back. And it looks like they have built a giant bomb and as Forgo Crimson just said, this is probably not the best environment to have a giant bomb in. 
but I do just want to take a quick moment to kind of look at this area because it looks a little similar to Scritzburg and the Brisbane Wildlands if you can remember that episode so long ago now but we see kind of like a bunch of like ruined like metal scraps kind of like just clopped together with like some wooden planks and stuff like that and it is a very interesting design and a very cool design and this area itself is really pretty and I kind of like how all the different script buildings here were like put together in this area and overall I just like it but we can see a bomb down here and let's go ahead and talk to the script here and see what this bomb that looks a little bit like there's some Asuran influence in it uh, see what's going on here I'm glad to see you. Huh? Yes, the script you rescued gave us the mental acuity to assemble a bomb. Our raid on the Centaur camp was also a success. The talk check? You sound smarter. I hope that's not an insulting thing to say. No, no, no. Script think better together. Communicate better when we're together. That's why rescuing Shikik Scouts was important. We needed the numbers to make this plan work. The talk check. The outlying scouts are under attack. The Queen is nearly here! What? It's too soon! The bomb isn't primed! We'll have to set it off here, in the village! Evacuate all unnecessary Skrit! We'll protect you while you're ready the bomb. If we should fall, Skrit, I expect you to detonate that ordinance, no matter what. You have my word. This is for the brothers and sisters they took from us. We will bury these destroyers today, no matter what the cost. So, on us. What do we do? Get as many of us out as you can. Then hold back the destroyers. I will die to keep them away from you if I have to. Work quickly, old friend. Yes. Yeah. You made me mad. So it looks like <laughs> I'll say so three times there that the destroyer queen has come or is almost here, and basically we just have to defend the script for as long as you can so that they can prime this bomb and they are basically going to sacrifice their village here in order to destroy the threat of this destroyer queen which is actually very noble and they are currently evacuating all of the script that they can as they try to get this bomb primed and of course something really interesting about the script that we knew about is that they become more intelligent together with other people and w with us having rescued more script they are able to communicate better because there are more of them and they are smarter which of course we know that these sura are a little bit threatened by that and they try their best to make sure that not too many script get close together but uh, they together have been able to f make this bomb that we can go ahead and defend and we leveled up to level 54 there as we kill some of the destroyers so let's go ahead and i'll just get a strength booster here i guess and then we can close this so we have leveled up twice this episode so far and we can continue fending off any of the attacking destroyers here where it looks like they are kind of appearing out of the ground and then there are also some coming in from the entrances to this cave which of course we know that the destroyer queen is on her way here i believe and i believe she's coming in from the outside but she might appear in the middle here but nevertheless we should have a little bit of a boss fight coming up which of course we know with the personal story boss fights are a little bit easier and they get harder as you get to newer pieces of content in the game but the destroyers are kind of dealing quite a bit of damage to me right now So it looks like the queen just did burrow out of the ground there. So we have a legendary, that's what this emblem here is, a legendary destroyer queen. So let's go ahead and deal some damage to her. We could try to break her break bar, but I don't think we're going to get through that before we kill her. We can buff up our friends here. And let's go ahead and just finish off the queen. And with the queen kind of stunned right there, we can go ahead and evacuate the Ferodins as the Skrit sacrifice their home here and detonate the bomb to destroy the queen and prevent any more of the destroyers in this area from kind of appearing here. And I feel like we should resist Skrit, but we'll just leave them behind there for now. We might be able to drag them out at some point. And it looks like there was just an explosion over there. We saw a little bit of a shockwave from it. But let's go ahead and chat with this script here. My people, my friends, all dead. Once was chatter and happy stories. Now, to silence. Too much silence. I'm sorry for talk, Jack. 
Your people were brave. They died protecting their friends and family. We killed the queen and all of her eggs. That's a victory. A hard one, but still a victory. To talk, Jack. We can't bring back your loved ones, but you can help us stop this from happening to others. The Vigil needs allies like you. Destroyers hunted us below. We lost many. Ran here. Now, here they are. I see there can be no more running. My village will join your cause. I underestimated these squeaking beasts. You were right, Crusader. No matter how small, every set of hands or scrabbly claws is important to our cause. I guess old dogs can learn new tricks. Huh, my friend? Watch it, Pop, or I'll clip your tail. Let's get back to Almora and let her know what we've discovered. This was a job well done. So there we have completed the story mission, and I think that might be the end of the chapter here, because as we return to Almora, that's going to be the start of the next chapter of the personal story, because if you remember, like, episode 3 or something, I talked about how the personal story was restructured a little bit, where you kind of unlocked every single chapter, after the previous one or every single mission but each subsequent mission was like two levels higher than the previous one so it became more and more difficult and you need to level up and that's how it kind of like blocked your progress a little bit behind your level right nowadays everything is kind of put into chapters as they were back in the day but it's much more like separate now and you unlock the chapters at each 10th level but there we see that Forgo had a little bit of a change of heart to these script creatures, which of course are definitely valuable allies, but are also sometimes kind of like hostile forces. And we see that with a lot of these like quote unquote lesser races of Terria that we are going to be interacting with in this chapter of the personal story, where we are going to learn a lot more about these races that do play an important part in the world of Terria. And that they are incredibly relevant to the story of the game, even if they play less of a part and are less relevant compared to some of the larger races like the Asura and the Savari and the humans, the Norn and the Char. But of course, we have just recruited the Skrit into the Vigil, so now they are allied with us, and these Skrit, at least at the Furrow Dens, are going to be helping us out in the Vigil as we progress our fight towards the Elder Dragon Zaitan. And like Forgo said at the end there, basically any help we can get is going to be good help even if it's from the script which of course we have met a lot of hostile script around the world but that doesn't mean that all script are hostile and some of them can definitely help us out just like we saw with the script here helping us out against the destroyers but I think on that note, I am going to go ahead and call this episode good here. And I really hope you all enjoyed watching this episode. It's definitely a little bit of a shorter one. And I hope you all are taking good care of yourselves. Remember to drink some water, check your posture, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time in the world of Tyria. Goodbye.